guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year um i am first off very excited to be back in this new year i feel like i'm back with a new spirit new motivation if you're new here my name is bianca i create like beauty lifestyle vlog kind of content but yeah this is my first video for 2022 and i decided what better way to kick it off than with a amazon favorites because who doesn't love a good Amazon favorites. So if you guys want to see what it is that I got, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so my first favorite is this white bodysuit. I will say when I purchased it, like I questioned myself because one, it is a very cheeky, <laughs> a very cheeky bodysuit, um, which I was not expecting. It was kind of an error when I bought it, um, but then I was too lazy to return it. So I've just been wearing it like that. Um, but yeah, it is just a high like razorback type bodysuit um it is just white and the thing that I like the most is a lot of times when you buy like white things at least for me I feel like they tend to be a little see-through so I always have to like find myself putting on another bodysuit underneath doing some like layering thing and I'm kind of tired of doing layering things not gonna lie so when I bought this one I bought it mainly because it is double lined so it is definitely not your like average transparent white bodysuit so yeah I love this one honestly I would repurchase it again maybe not in the cheeky version <laughs> I would just purchase like the regular bodysuits if I find that I will link it down below but this has been one of my favorites I will definitely be purchasing this and like any color that's available the next one has also been one of my favorite purchases I did see a lot of people talking about this on TikTok, and you know I didn't get the hype until I purchased it myself so this is what I am talking about I have worn this on so many occasions in so many different ways um, and I'm just obsessed this is a piece that I have gotten compliments when I'm wearing it and I know they have it in other colors which I think I do want to purchase more of these just because they're so like versatile in the way you can use them and wear Wear them put them over a dress like you can really just switch up and elevate a look just by putting this on top again it is also one of those very like thick materials that if you're just wearing this and like a strapless bra underneath you won't see anything like I, I honestly feel very comfortable in it the other thing that I really like which I don't know if the camera will pick up is that it does have boning on the inside so it does really help to like lift everything and everything just like looks good and snatched um the only thing I will say is the zipper but honestly I the amount of times I've worn it nothing has happened and the zipper is the only thing that I question because like one like if you lift this up a tiny bit it will open I have not had any problems any of the times I've worn it so yeah I, I still highly recommend this and I know they have it in a ton of colors which again this is something that I'm hoping to purchase in other colors the next thing I purchased were these biker shorts. They just look like this. They are a little bit longer and I mainly got in these because we went to Disneyland back in June and obviously it was going to be hot. So I just didn't want to put shorts on just because your girls got thick thighs and if they rub like I did not want to deal with any of that. So I just decided to get these like longer biker shorts. Plus the biker shorts and t-shirt look is very cute. So I figured these would be great. So I think we purchased four, it came or it came in a set of four and I kept two and my mom kept two. What I wanted specifically is that they were nice and thick so that they wouldn't be see-through, that they would have a pocket on the side that would fit my phone because you know, when you're at Disney, you need that phone and quick access to take pictures. <laughs> so yeah, it has uh, two pockets on either side. It also has like one of those like hidden pockets um as well but yeah that is basically what they look like and i can just say that this is something i would repurchase again this definitely does like suck you in a little bit but not like uncomfortably and it definitely just like gives you like a nice little figure you know i don't know if that makes sense but these are like go to like i would buy these if they had them in like long leggings or even like in the like yoga pants version I would buy those if they was from the same brand because these are just like so good like they literally like smooth you out and it's just like I would buy these again <laughs> another thing that I purchased for that same Disneyland trip was a backpack that wouldn't be too uncomfortable or heavy I find that lately every time that I had gone to Disneyland I had taken like a lounge fly or just like any shoulder backpack and I don't know why but at the end of the day I would always feel very uncomfortable like my shoulders I feel like they would be like 
I don't know if it's because I have bad posture, but I would just feel like my shoulders were hurting. And so I was like, you know what? I need something that is one-sided. That way, once one shoulder gets tired, then I can switch it to the other shoulder. Just, you know, to make it more comfortable on myself. And that is when I found this brand of backpack um this is called kavu kavu i don't know how you say it it's just k-a-v-u they have it in a ton of different colors and basically it is um weatherproof i believe it's like water resistant that's what i wanted because obviously like if you're going on rides i don't want to worry about what i have in my backpack if i'm not leaving it in a locker and they have a ton of different colors and again it just has like the rope detailing you can make it smaller or bigger the other thing is that it has a ton of different pockets and compartments so like i said if you need like eye drops on hand if you need a charger like all of this it's like really really spacious like you guys will understand it has i think four compartments on the outside but like this is like you wouldn't expect it to fit that much but i think it's also because it like can stick out some people i've heard also wear it as a fanny pack so again just very like versatile you can use it for a lot of things it has two sides to the pocket like it has this side and this side but honestly i really only found myself putting things in this side and it just made things very easy very simple easy to like get things in and out of here so yeah again i would purchase this in other colors i would probably do like the basic black or like a beige kind of color um that would be a little more neutral but again this is the one i got and i am obsessed another one of my favorite purchases of 2022 was this bag right here it is this like crossbody little moment um i have it in the beige color and i think they have it again in other colors as well this bag has just held up so well this is one of those things Things that this bag can carry like my essentials if I'm going on a trip and I don't want to carry like a backpack um, this is one that I could use because it's so small so convenient but it like literally fits so much the next thing are these white boots right here one they're so pretty as much as i love these boots i can only tolerate them for a very limited amount of time um i'm not used to very high heels and i feel like these aren't that high but again i think that's because i am not a heels girl to begin with but if you are i feel like you could use these and they would feel like nothing besides that they're very comfortable and i like that the zipper is gold because a lot of times the zippers are like silver and i hate that because i'm not a silver girly again very cute very simple now because i like that white pair of boots i think this was actually like my last purchase of 2022 and it was these boots right here they are just like this cognac colored boot they do have a little bit of a heel but again not as dramatic as those white pairs and they are way 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 more comfortable i was able to wear them all day without like having any problems they're like super cute pointed toe i wish i would have purchased them in other colors as well i think they have like an actual beige color and a black color i am most likely going to purchase those as well but i feel like these are so cute such an easy way to like elevate any like regular schmegular outfit moving along to more accessories that i have been using um the first one is this necklace right here um i normally wear like a b a letter b for bianca necklace um but i decided to switch it up and get an s for my last name so i did get this on amazon as well and it's also a different shape i think the one i used to have was a rectangle and this one is like a little circle which i thought was cute the next thing is my apple watch band this one has been my more favorite it is just like a rose quartz is what they call it kind of band and i've been obsessed with it it goes with everything i've also gotten a ton of compliments whenever i am like out ordering like a starbucks or something and they see it um they're like oh my gosh your band is so cute um so i got that one and then i also have like this rose gold one that just matches the watch itself um again i think these are cute ways to elevate something like an apple watch because before i was so against an apple watch like you guys don't understand and i have been obsessed with apple watch now um of course i do know when not to wear it but for the most part i think it's the watch fans that have convinced me to be on the apple watch team um also for the apple watch i don't know if you guys can tell but i also do have the like little 
a screen protector on it um, but it is like an iridescent kind of color um, so I did also get like the iridescent covers for the Apple Watch and I'm obsessed. The next thing was pillows. I ended up ordering this um, pillow cover. I wanted like a massive pillow for whenever I'm like laying on my bed and I'm reading or I'm watching a show or something's projected on this wall. I found this long pillow um, but then I also found this cover for it that is kind of like a tie-dye beige is what it's called it was like tie-dye beige tie-dye cream something like that um but anyways i just like that it has tones and some definition without it being like crazy printed um so yeah i love this i got the pillow inserts separate from the pillow covers um but this is what it looks like it is just like a light pink corduroy kind of moment i do have a lot of this like rose blush color in my room um like you can kind of peek it over here in the curtain and then there's just like other touches throughout my room that are like this blush um pink kind of color so i wanted it to be like pink but not just like flat pink if that makes sense like i wanted some texture something to it so i found these pillowcases and i love them and again i got two pillow inserts and two pillow cases okay now on to some like more random home stuff the first thing are these like spout attachments it came in a pack of i think it's like five or six i had purchased these like oil and vinegar little glass containers but i didn't realize that they didn't have the spouts and so i went to amazon you know just to see like what do they have and i found these spouts which are even better because they have a little lid that closes them i gave some to my mom a couple to my sister and then i think i still have like a little bunch left but yeah that's basically what they're for so if you're ever missing your little toppers to your oil and vinegar bottles now you know another thing that's kind of like random but not really um my sister's kitchen i think she had posted somewhere that she had gotten these shelves to put into her kitchen cabinets and we basically have the same we have the same kitchen because we live in the same apartment area i think the ones she had were like white they had like wood tops and i wanted just plain plain white i'm a plain white girl so i found these ones and they just look like this and i use these in different areas in my kitchen i use them to separate like my cups from my glasses to do like two layers for my mugs i also use it in like my pantry cabinet as well to do like smaller cans and then bigger cans um so yeah if you have like weird cabinets that don't have or aren't good at being like space savers and like being efficient in the way you use them these i highly recommend the only thing i will say is you do have to kind of measure your cabinets just to make sure that they will actually fit and these were the perfect size so again these are just like plain white ones and i'm obsessed i think it came in a pack of four if i'm not mistaken if not it was a pack of two and i ordered two something weird like that but yeah these are these are what are in my cabinets so another thing that's kind of random is recently or not recently but like maybe for the past year and a half i want to say i've started adding smart devices into my home so i have like my alexa she probably heard me i have like smart bulbs in my living room and then when i started setting up all the christmas stuff i was like you know what it would be so nice if there was a way for all these christmas lights to just turn on by themselves or like some sort of way anyways i ended up finding this little gadget right here which is just like a smart plug and basically you just program it and anything you plug into it you can automatically turn on and off with your phone or you can set timers for them i set timers for my christmas tree the christmas lights here in my room the christmas lights in the bathroom and then the christmas lights in the kitchen and i have now set all the timers and they're like working they work well and if i forget to turn off all the christmas lights and i'm already laying down in bed it's nice because i can just use my phone turn off all the lights and we're good if you still want to like manually turn it off and you don't want to use your phone it also has a button on the side that if you just press it it will turn off the light and then press it again and it will turn them on so essentially this is just so easy highly recommend i also like that you didn't need any other apps for it like it just connects to your home app and yeah very simple to use and connect 
Another thing that I mentioned in my what's in my purse video was this key ring, um, which has also again been one of my favorites. It's iridescent. If you guys don't know, I'm literally obsessed with anything iridescent. And I also have this little cutting thing that I use to open packages at work. So I highly recommend both of these. Again, they will be linked down below. Another thing that's like kind of random is like this pen. Um, this is for my iPad. And let me just say this has been one of my favorites. I have taken notes on my iPad before. And I used to have another pen that I, I think was like Marshalls or Ross. Anyways, the whole point is that that pen was not as good as this pen. This is one of those pens that is very similar to the Apple Pencil. And I'm just obsessed with this. Like it lasts forever. It writes precisely so yeah if you use your ipad for either drawing um writing i would recommend this one another thing that's kind of in the home zone is this right here we're gonna ignore all the dirty makeup brushes but it is this little container right here um when i was reorganizing my makeup area i wanted to get something that was a little more contained for my brushes and also something that i didn't have to put those beads that were so annoying i ended up purchasing two of these and it has three different compartments so I don't know if you guys will be able to tell but like in this one I was able to put like my liners and liner brushes and then these are like my eyeshadow brushes and then these are all like wet brushes or brushes that I use for like foundation or concealer or things that are wet um so yeah I have two of these and they're just over on my vanity and I like them because they're white easy to clean and yeah I don't think I have anything else to say. I really like them and they weren't very expensive. Another thing that's kind of beauty related that I've only been using maybe for like a month month and a half are these little black sponges that again you hear everyone talk about it on like TikTok and Instagram uh, and my sister was the one who actually purchased these and let me just say sister if you're watching this is the greatest gift you've ever given me um so it came in a set of four and she gave me two of them and these have just been like literally my go-to powder sponge um I never knew that a sponge could apply powder so beautifully like I tend to have very large pores like in this area and as well some like in the middle of my forehead but this will literally give you like a very like airbrushed filtered look this is something that I'm definitely going to be repurchasing and that you can't repeat this technique with like a brush like this is what you need so again if you guys have not purchased these highly recommend Another thing that's like beauty related is rosehip oil. Now I started doing some like facial massages with the gua sha and let me just say I think it has changed the structural look of my face at least I think I don't know if I'm delusional but yeah rosehip oil I've heard has very like good benefits for your skin. It's so hydrating but not like it stays on the top of your skin if that makes sense like I feel like my skin actually absorbs some of it in another beauty related thing is the Espon Cabon which if you guys don't know this is like a sponge mixed with soap that is meant for lightening I personally have or used to have some somewhat dark underarms um, and I think it's mainly because my underarms are so sensitive. I can't put like anything on there because if not, I will like literally break out on my underarms um, or I will get a rash and then that will like leave like kind of like a dark hue to my underarms if that even makes sense. So when I had heard people on TikTok talking about this sponge, I don't think what like I didn't know what they were going to say and I have started using it and I come I think it came in a pack of two and I think I still have one in the shower you just leave it on while you're showering and I feel like it does the job so if you have any areas that you need to like lighten or brighten this is something that I would recommend again use it at your own risk because I don't know what's in this but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do another thing that was my favorite is this set of rollers obviously it came with a ton more but i just have two of the sizes here just for visual purposes so it came with these two different sizes i think it's like a two inch and a one and a half 
if I'm not mistaken. I will usually use this one for whenever I am doing like a blowout. I will put like rows of these on the top of my head and then sometimes if I feel like being fancy or extra I will use it on the sides of my hair. But yeah mostly I got it for this size right here. Um, and then yeah these I don't really use but I'm sure I could find a use for them someday. These are also one of my favorites. I think it also did come with clips. They're like so sticky that at least for me um, the velcro like I don't feel like I need to use any of the like little clamps and stuff. Now moving on to probably something that I spend most of my Amazon money on and that is nail supplies. Now I'm a girl who likes to do her nails obviously. Don't look at my fingers right now. I usually do give my fingers like some time to rest in between every so often um, just because like for the health of my nails. Let me show you some of my favorite purchases. For nail supplies yeah I think it was just like one set for like nine dollars these are a ton of different things um so let me just like break it down really quickly it comes with like rhinestones these like pear-shaped glitters these um gold toppers some more little gold metallics some rose gold metallic ones I don't know if you guys can see these like other like glitter flakes some little pearls some more rhinestones that are colored, some silver rhinestones, and then some more little like crystal gold rhinestones as well. Now, if you're getting the rhinestones, you are gonna have to get something that is going to help with picking up the rhinestones. And I did purchase this like wax tip pencil type thing. Um, and it works great. I love it. I'm obsessed. I used to try to use tweezers and that was just not it. Um, so yeah, it comes with one of the little wax tips already, but if you need replacements, it also comes with that and its own case. So I highly recommend this because if you like to do your nails, you guys know the pain of adding gems onto your nails. I've just gotten into like the gel liners for your nails. And if you don't know what that is, it's just gel polish with the really thin really thin brush that you can use for different nail art so so far I only have a gold one and like kind of a cream champagne kind of color and then a white and I've used them and they just they work great so another thing besides the gel polishes are chrome powders these chrome powders chef's kiss I literally have so many chrome powders I'm obsessed and I do love me a good chrome nail this set I purchased came with nine chrome powders so again I highly recommend these they're by a brand called born pretty um they will also be linked down below I'll also go ahead and post more of the nail stuff that I'm using down below that are kind of all like the gel polishes um that I purchased this last year just because I don't want this video to be eternally long so yeah, that about wraps it up for my 2022 favorites. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and everything that I mentioned as well as some of like the gel polishes, which I didn't include, will all be linked down below. Again, I hope to see you all in the next video and happy new year once again. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Bye. You guys, I started watching Yellowstone. Let me just say, I love a good Western. I love a good cowboy moment, like a little yippee ki -yay. But like, there's just something about a man that works with his hands. Like, yes, yes. What are these called? One Piece? Um, they have it in a... <laughs> I got the pillows separately from the inserts. Um, or I got the pillow covers separate from the pillow Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. As you can see, some rope.